Yo, what's up everyone? Kiros here and today we're going to do a branch facility guide. Now this guide will be slated a little bit more to the free to play friendly, especially as you're in global and everything like that. Now there's a couple different strategies you can do, but I think we've really homed in on the one strategy that you uh, kind of want to do until you have all six branches open until maybe you're into the end game and all that goodness. But if you guys do like the video, hit that like and subscribe as you're watching let's get started hey uh since we're here pro tip don't ever do your own raids you should get disconnected from server because that's awesome so pro tip here make sure that you're not doing your own raids go ahead and just support uh send out a support request have other people do it because you're gonna get 100 credit anyways and you want to get as many people to get credit as well so uh we're gonna do a branch facility guide and um honestly it's it's just really to help people pick the correct things that you should be doing at least in the early to mid game now in the very very late game your strategy might change a little bit so we're going to talk through that so first things first that we're going to want to do i'm going to go ahead and, and select one of these we're going to go ahead and just remove um i'm just going to go ahead we're going to go ahead and spend the money and just remove everything from here and then we'll we'll talk through all the different things that you can get you do and then some of the choices you can make here all right so let's look at the different things you can put in into the facility now you do have these phase coordinate amplifiers and these um spatial coordinates amplifiers these are 100 percent needed you want them all the time you want them on every facility mainly because they don't take anything they take absolutely zero and there's no reason not to have them in any facility Is that a bug? <laughs> where's my where's my branch? Oh, there it is. That was weird, right? It wasn't there a second ago. I thought it was going crazy. All right, so let's go back to the phase. Uh, you, you know, no matter what, you're gonna have a branch office. It's required for all of them. Uh, you're gonna want these phase coordinates, and you're really gonna want to bump these up all as much as you can. You want to get those 110 rays because it's gonna give you a better shot at getting better raid gear and all that goodness. And now for dives, you're really gonna want to level these dives up where you are in the game. If you are just brand new to the game and uh, for some reason you're only like level three level four in your branch office you want to make sure you don't level these up too much so they're they don't get ahead of you now if you are downing all the dives and you're in the, the 40 range and the regular dives everything like that bump this up as high as you can in order to get you um uh, those high level dives which is really really important so every facility you have is going to really do this so let's look through some of the other things that um and we're just going to talk through it um staff office so we will need to grab the staff office and i'll explain why in a little bit uh other than that the staff office is really a waste of space if it wasn't for the fact that you need certain things to unlock others finance department credits we're not worried about credits right the game uh you're gonna get plenty of credits and you're typically not gonna blow through them uh, very quickly in my opinion eternium gain it, it, this is also a very bad one because the reason why this one's a bad one too is that you're only going to get only certain missions are going to be for eternium and funny enough you're not always going to select the a rank missions you're really going to try and cycle these missions um to try and find those s ranks or uh, you see like right here right so um i'm trying to i'm trying to fish for these fragments or you're trying to fish for um um ship upgrades or you're trying to fish for free summons and so a lot of the times you'll end up doing the one hours and really babying this thing until you can get these s ranks to show up so even though this these are pretty good and the tunings are good a lot of times you won't choose you won't choose a mission that has eternium so you're going to be losing a lot of uh, benefits there by choosing that eternium and i highly suggest you don't do that uh infos gained by 10 percent. once again not every mission has infos so like you'd really have to like pick and choose and the amount of infos you get from here is just not it's really not going to make or break you guys it really isn't now one of the things that um is very very important in my opinion is that uh, there's a little bit of hot debate between um the future uh, strategy department and then the command center so let's talk about the command center real quick gives you an increased great chance of getting um of getting those uh additional uh materials now you have a 70 percent chance typically and you know what that's that's usually good enough i know you can upgrade this get this up to like 90 uh 95 95 percent when you add it together 
but it's it's kind of a waste of space unfortunately guys every now and then you will fail the the role is it's gonna hurt but there's some better choices out there and i highly suggest you don't uh pick the command center now one of the ones i do suggest you pick for almost all players at all times is this future strategy department this one is actually very very important because when you take an eight when you upgrade this three times right negative 20 percent right that brings an eight hour mission down to six hours roughly it brings a one hour mission down to 47 minutes or something or you know roughly around there 52 minutes and you wouldn't think that's a really big deal but it really is because the more missions you pump out the faster you're going to level up these uh branches and the faster that you can cycle those um those one hours to try and fish for those s ranks right and that's what we're really looking for so that future strategy department is really 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 important and i highly suggest leveling that up to level three as soon as possible now we have um we have the pr department right here uh increases the uh chance of high class uh dispatch uh dispatch missions by 10 percent. now this one's also very important now the only thing that sucks about this one is it does require you to build a staff office and we'll show that in a second but increased chance of getting those s ranks or those high class a ranks or anything like that very very good and it's going to accelerate your career now some of the other ones that uh people like to do are these passive radars chance of finding a high grade disturbance during a dispatch mission now this is actually pretty good but it's not good until you're in the very very late game in my opinion or until you have um until you have all six facilities and then maybe you do like two or three of them for a different a different version we'll talk about that with doing the radars um but typically until you're until you're really maxed out across the board you're gonna want to you're gonna want to do reduction of dispatches because getting those materials are going to be a lot better than getting uh than getting uh just a chance of raid right because chances um are, are just not always guaranteed so we're talking about the radars real quick right we already talked about finding a high grade disturbance uh plus uh 20 percent during a uh dispatch mission very very good right uh, this is if you're trying to fish for raids or you're trying to fish for dives right 20 percent chance is really not the best chance in the world guys but there is a use case for this maybe later if you um you no longer need to really fish for that many materials right then you have the spatial and we'll talk about the data archive in a second then you have the spatial coordinates fixator chance of a dive appearing during disturbance so when a disturbance happens you have an increased chance of it being a dive instead of a raid right so if you're looking for more dives like this is uh, you know this could be a good thing um since dives gives you those materials in order to buy ship parts and all that goodness right you may want to do that more than raids especially if you're you're already maxed out on the raids in the current session right so you may be flipping these around depending on how much money you have but I think that's I think that's a little too premature uh, unless you're really in the end game and no one in the global is in the end game in my opinion now the data archive real quick and uh, info cost minus 10 percent for application branch when starting or sweeping the dive not good you shouldn't really be sweeping the dive in my opinion anyways you should just auto if at worst case you should auto play it out but you should really auto play the battles and manual direct where you're going to get the materials you're looking for uh interception support gear really not needed because once you uh when you're in uh, when you're in raids right say i'm in this raid here right i prepare for battle you're really not using this support gear as of right now um maybe way way later but i, I think this is a waste of uh facilities do not do that do not do that um going back into this room was done gear change module support uh gear uh cost minus 15 percent once again not needed right now chance of raid appearing during disturbance this is that phased array uh radar so now you can't have you can't have both so you have to choose either this one for the increased raid chance or the one for increased dive once again this is not how i build it so going back into what we think is really good right we're gonna have to build that staff office because we need it we have that future uh uh strategy uh department and then we are going to have that PR department. That PR department is very, very important. So, but the, the first one that's really important to level is actually this uh, future strategy department because duration minus 20% is huge, huge for any, any mission. Then I would level the PR department. And then from there, 
you may be able to slam in the command center so i'm already level five you know once you hit level nine you'll go you know level six seven eight you'll have a max out pr department and you might be able to squeeze in that command center as the last final one and that's how i would optimize build your facilities guys now once again if you are you know i have an s rank right there so i want to make sure i have um that um now i might i for this one I, I just wanted to showcase that i did a higher chance of the pr department with lower duration so play around with it with the way you are and it depends if you want to baby it right if you guys don't want to baby the game and you're just doing eight hours you don't need to do that uh a negative dis uh disturbance Maybe you want to try and fish for more raids and that's that's ideally what i would do there um if if you are the type of person that just likes to log in once a day don't do the future strategy department don't do the pr department go ahead and slap in there the radars right the high chance of getting a disturbance and then um some of those other uh dive ones like increased chance of getting a dive from there i know that was a little long-winded guys hopefully that helped you out I think it did. I don't know. Maybe it didn't. Let me know in the comments down below. Did that help you out? Did I hit it spot on? Did you guys uh, disagree with what I said? Um, this is this is how I've been able to perceive it from here. And we've got more videos on the way. I do appreciate you guys watching. Once again, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Fist bump from me to you. <laughs>